guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Brie and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back like I really appreciate you returning subscribers today's video is a little bit different basically I decided to change the color of my loose wave hair sorry I'm kind of filming in the window so I'm thinking imagine people can see me like skin out and stuff but anyway so I decided to color my loose wave wig my wig was handmade so basically this is the same hair that i've had for my wedding which was back in march and then i've done a few other styles with it and then turned it into a wig and now i'm still got the same wig but i just wanted to switch it up like add a little color so this hair is going strong y'all like can we just yeah can we just make some noise for this hair like i've reused this and manipulated it so many times and it's still in good condition let me just add a bit of shine to it bearing in mind i haven't added like any oil or nothing to make it kind of like shiny but let's just get into it it's still got the same fullness this is literally my wedding hair like this hair is what do you call it what's that word what's that word like when something means a lot to you anyways this hair just holds a lot of memories and a lot of love so yeah i can't believe i've reused and abused it so many times and it's still in good condition obviously i'm not the greatest at laying hair on myself but we move anyways so i kind of wanted this like chocolatey browny gingery fiery ready kind of color like i love the whole ginger vibe but i just don't think i would like it personally on myself i just wanted to give like a little hint of ginger not too much just to kind of step back into my comfort zone like if you know me you would know that i always wore color in my hair like i've never been a plain 1b girl like i always have to have some type of color in my hair still to this day to be honest but i've just calmed down a bit with that so this is like a close-up of the colour. As you can see, it's like gingery brownie. Obviously, some bits are a bit darker because it's got some product on it, like mousse. But I just wanted to show you how it looked in the daylight. So yeah, I'm just loving the colour at the moment. I know I'm going to get bored of it and probably switch up again soon. I'm feeling to do this like a nice like 99J kind of colour next. I don't know. Let's see how long i can keep this wig going sorry but cost of living guys if you like my color and just want to see the whole process behind it i suggest you stay tuned and watch this video also if you haven't already don't forget to like comment share subscribe hit the notification bell all of that good stuff <laughs> Say hello to this braggedy ass wig that's about to be transformed. So I start off using bleach that I found in my local hair shop. This is all they had. I've never used this brand before, but I just thought, why not? I then go in and add my 40 volume developer. I kind of just eyeball it and I mix it together to make sure that all the lumps are out because you don't really want random streaks to be up in your wig. So I do take this part quite seriously. You will see me mixing it for quite a while just to ensure all the lumps are gone. say guys if you don't have the patience just forget it because just to mix the lumps out took me a good probably five minutes which is long when you've got kids screaming in the back but i then go in with my hot water make sure not to add too much otherwise it's just going to dilute the mixture way too much and it probably won't even bleach your wig at the level that you need it so just bear that in mind so once it's all mixed in thoroughly i then dip my wig in just to make sure that all the ends are inside the bleach solution you don't want to miss bits out otherwise it's going to get really patchy i was a bit scared because i've already bleached the knots on my closure so i was thinking oh my gosh like what if it over bleaches and the lace closure hair starts to fall out but thankfully 
none of that happened I was so grateful I don't know why I was panicking so much but as you can see I just keep continuously dipping it in and out of the solution using my hands and then I go in with my comb just to ensure that every strand is literally covered in that bleach <music> I'm just showing you that it's literally only been in the bleach for one minute and it was already turning brown like if I wanted that nice chocolate brown I would have just left it at this stage and washed it out but I continue to leave it in because as you know I wanted a bit of ginger <laughs> it for a maximum of 20 minutes just to ensure that it's fully coated i then go on and rinse it all out until the water runs clear as you can see the color just looks so nice like i might do this again with a different wig and just keep it chocolatey because it just looks so sexy i'm not gonna lie <laughs> spray this is to help protect the lace from dyeing because trust me you do not want to get dye on your lace it will just be looking so crazy i've done it before been there done that so i just literally coat the whole lace closure in the got to be glue spray and then i let it sit on the side just to dry out a bit whilst i prep the next steps <laughs> As you can see I mix two colours to get my desired look just to give it some more dimension so I mixed cinnamon and Cajun spice and then I mix them all together again just to make sure everything looks even before putting the hot water. This bit is quite therapeutic to me. Like, I'd rather be mixing this dye than being in that room with my children arguing. So anyway, I went in with my boiling hot water straight from the kettle. And then I added a little bit of the tap water just so it's not too hot. You don't want to overboil your wig because that can also damage the quality of your wig. Now, before I go ahead and dip my wig in the solution, I always like to double protect my lace just to make sure because like I said, it can ruin your whole wig if dye gets on that lace. So I go in with some conditioner and I literally smother it over the whole lace. And this is after the got to be glued has dried just to make sure for that extra security. So I've covered the whole of the lace. So this will ensure that none of that dye is getting on my wig, not today. So now it's time for me to soak my wig in the solution and I literally dip it in and out of the water how many times just to again make sure that the solution gets in. I'm not going to lie, even after all the steps I did to protect the lace, I was still shook to dip the whole wig into the water. So as you can see, I didn't really dip the closure in until like the last minute. But I fully put it in now and then I go ahead and use my comb to again make sure it's on every single strand. Like I didn't want no misses when it comes to this colour because yeah I just wanted it to look nice and natural and not blotchy. So again I let the wig sit for about 20 minutes while it processes and i kept taking it out and combing through it to again make sure everything was mixed nicely <laughs> original mix 
mixture. I didn't use all of the dye. Like, I used half a bottle of the Cajun because I just, I was scared that it was going to come out really ginger. And then halfway through, I just thought, you know what, let me just add the rest of the bottle. So, as you can see, I'm adding the water to help take out the whole of the contents in that bottle. And I just swirled it around just to ensure that it was all mixed because I didn't want it to ruin the setup I already had. But I just thought, you know what, F it. If it comes out ginger, I'm just gonna rock it anyway. Like it is what it is. Life's too short. time for me to wash out the wig thoroughly i was so scared because the hair is wet you can't actually see its true color until it actually becomes dry so i was thinking didn't even do anything like but i was so excited to see the end result i then went in with my color protecting shampoo by ogx i love this brand but i feel like i'm gonna switch it off soon and try out other brands but yeah, I went in with the shampoo just because I didn't want any dye residue to sit on my wig because it can just damage the quality of the hair. So I'd rather just shampoo it out instead of just rinsing it. <laughs> the color protecting conditioner also just to let the wig sit in it and just revive its moisture again just to make it nice and soft especially with curly hair like you don't really want to mess the step out because it can get really matted if you leave the step <laughs> So this is the wig after I let it dry out the whole day. I then brushed out the curls and this is it in its natural form. If you got this far watching this video, thank you so much. And again, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe.